Now I joined Women's Startup Lab because I was interested and I thought I could really give a lot, but it turns out I got a lot more than I even gave. Um, the women I met have been outstanding. It's really expanded my network and awareness of just how many women are successfully starting, launching, relaunching, and growing businesses here in Silicon Valley. My company and to, to find people who work for me who have has like certain uh, qualities that I'm looking for in order to uh, pursue my vision. So um, I think it has been helping me also uh, to uh, separate personal life versus entrepreneurship life. And it's something that's very complicated when you're in the middle of, of something that you don't know exactly where you're going. So having people and sharing experiences and hearing others is the value that I've gotten out of the network and the support that my cohort, the coaches, and the leadership here at Women's Startup Lab have provided. It's been my emotional safety net. Um, we help pick each other up when we're struggling or dealing with some difficult issues, when we're trying to um, re-engage integrity in our organization. Our teams have been, and our cohort has been, my strength and a source for me to tap, um, to be able to be creative and to reach the goals and objectives that I've set for Cruz and, and our team. So why does it matter? Why should I, as a startup founder, have to have something like Women's Startup Lab? And I will say that if you don't come from the startup world, you have no idea where to start. And while I listen to it, and I know it's not rocket science, I would not have the map, I would not have the road map to show me where to go, and I would not have the confidence to do it myself.